Okay, everybody, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning and I'm getting the meals prepared for my dear sister today. And as you can see, we're following a uh, pretty, um, pretty intense schedule here. You should be able to see it some way. And uh, these are the things she has to do all day long. And I'm very excited, motivated. The Lord has given me strength and grace. And so what we're going to do is we're going to prepare her a uh, soup with potatoes, um, scallion, and a little bit of carrots. And then we're going to do a raw salad for her. And that will be her morning meal. After, of course, uh, she consumes her lemon water. So we're going to do her vegetable and starches this morning. And she's going to take that with uh, the mineral supplements above. And uh, then we'll have her do her distilled water and then her green drinks. And so it's important that we wake up early in the morning. That we spend time with God, hear his voice, um, make sure that our heart and our thoughts are in tune with our creator. And uh, he will give us the strength to, and the skill and the wisdom to know how to minister, how to prepare things properly and how to do it with joy. So trust me, I'm very, very excited. Um, and uh, even though the weather is uh, pretty gloomy outside, in my heart is full of sunshine. So I'll keep you posted. Um, we looked earlier at the distiller here. And as I uh, opened it up and looked inside of it, you were able to see uh, a good amount of residue. And this is one of the reasons why we distill. That residue comes from, from at least what I'm understanding, the uh, the remnants of uh, the residue of the water that we put in there. And we get the vapor. So minus uh, all that gunk and whatever it is, I'm going to put it under a microscope when I get an opportunity and see what it is. But this is what we're doing. Um, Pretty much chopping uh, the vegetables up, the potatoes into squares, and uh, putting those in here. And then we're going to go take our little scallion, green beans. And I'll make enough for probably a couple days so that I won't have to come and actually do this portion of the program again because it can become redundant in time, a time waster. So we got to take advantage of um, every moment and plan uh, effectively. And it's something that I haven't been the most consistent at in my years, but the Lord is really showing me that it's important that... Uh, I get on top of that. So I'll keep you posted. I'm going to try to document everything I do because this is important for training to motivate others that um, have the burden of the missionary work. And um, just take a look at what's going on here for a second. As you can see, we had to load up with uh, vegetables. We got all the way from uh, spinach to buck choy, buck choy, I guess is how you pronounce it. Uh, some British parsnips, and uh, we're doing pretty good, so I'll keep you posted as we progress. <laughs> 